That's the brake light switch on a 8898 Chevy pickup. They have the similar style too. I'm trying to get the light in here too with the, uh, the camera, but it's really, oh, here we go right here. You got a good view of the clip right over there. Brake light switch, 8898 or 2000-ish, 8898 style. And, um, and they commonly go bad. This one's working now, but it seems to be working on and off. So, and you see, that's the operation. You see how that clip moves? Hear that relay click? Relay's on the firewall, but as you push down the brake pedal, push rod, moves this a little bit, the brake light switch doesn't, that's what activates the switch. Pretty weird design. Not a lot of cars really have that. Oops, sorry for the shaky cam. It's a very, 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 very tight spot. If you want easy uh, access, you drop the steering column. I'm gonna try to do it without it because I've done it in the past to get that clip off, but we're gonna try to do it here. It's very, very, very cramped spot working. But that's the clip. Basically, there's two different styles. There's a round clip. This is that weird little square crab looking grip clip, I don't want to call it. But again, horrible views. People are going to be bitching. I can't see it. Yeah, you try to get a camera underneath there, contort your body, and get this clip off. But we have to go reposition ourselves. We're using a uh, pick tool. Long, get the longest pick tool you can and try to pry back that little tab. There's a little lock tab that folds over, and then if you keep working it, the clip should pop out. The clip does rotate around, so you can kind of position it in a better location. And it's in its, if anyone cares too, it's uh, about 102 degrees outside, so don't don't try to do this when it's that hot. So that's what you got to do, contort yourself. Really easy if you want to drop this column. This is a 94 last year of this rear dash, so they actually come out pretty damn easy, or you can just just unbolt there's like two bolts up here somewhere and then I'll drop down a little bit and you get better access but we're gonna try to go for it as this well we missed it and actually I got this one off pretty easy compared to the other one you see that's the tab you have to lift right on that side you basically put a uh, pick tool between that little crevice over there keep on prying it we got it out now what it is pick up on a switch see that slide it off Always do the electrical connection last. That's actually a little bit loose in there too. Hopefully that wasn't a problem. Hopefully. It's kind of beat up. Have another one. Let's see if that one holds up. Here in this state, when you don't have brake lights, nobody tells you anything. In the old country, there are people that told you. I'm freaking out when you don't have brake lights. You're going, you don't have brake lights. Here, no one cares. And this is the old switch. I, mean, comes, I had the same problem last time I screwed with this shit. Took it off. Checks out okay. It's hard to do two hands. Put this camera somewhere. No, I need a little tripod or something to hang this camera. Something, but then it's going to be a screwed up shot. Basically, all you do is put a screwdriver in there and pry against it, and there's a little contact tag that activates the switch. Old switch, which still works. You know what the problem is? The problem is this tab over here. It's bent. It's crooked. This one, it's more flat. So, it's not getting good contact. Just that little piece, whatever the heck it is, brass or some soft metal, it's actually just bent. I could probably fix it. It's sitting on a slight, slight, slight angle compared to this one. It looks that way. A little bit. That, or if it's just intermittent. Different part number. 124 576. This is old. I replaced this probably like two times. One time, had an original one. Then it was placed under a recall. I had a recall for these things, brake light switch. And um, then I was thinking it was placed again. I think it shorted out or something when we had a cap on the back. But, uh, yeah, this is a new one. I think that's the part number. Mexico, used to quality AC Delco Mexico parts, not the, uh, the new shit. It's made in China from the parts store. And when you open your hood, that is the brake light switch relay, your brake relay underneath the hood right there. Believe it or not, I'm not sure if it's the same on a uh, Fortech or a truck 96 plus, but 90, was it 88 to uh, 95, right 
there. All right, new switch is on. Of course, you put the connector, I mean the power connector on first, because it's easier. And you just clip the thing on the pedal push rod. See, and that's like, clip it on, so like that, so it went like that. Now, this is the uh, kind of tricky part, putting this clip back on, it can be tricky. It goes like this way, now it's going to go that way. Check your switch. Hear that relay clicking? It's loud. That's good. So it works. There's a little ring around the put pedal push rod, which you cannot see. You can see it if you take the steering column out. I saw it pretty easily when I had the column out on this truck a while back. But now you have to push on the white spot, push on the little spot, and then that little clip will lock on. I can reuse this clip. I didn't mangle it. Usually I totally destroy these things, but I'm getting better with time, I guess. Better with age. But we'll get it on eventually. Keep working it. I really can't show you much. You know, it's really up to you. And don't leave this clip off. A lot of people will do that to bubblefy their truck. Oh, it works now because what will happen? That switch can pop off. Look at the whole pedal. I mean, the whole uh, booster pedal push rod can fall off and you'll totally lose your brakes and crash and die. But if that's what you're up against, you want to kill someone, that's what you do. Alright, clip is on. Very, very easy. Usually I fault with it. Went right on. Make sure that little clip too, it's, it's locked on. Wiggle it around make sure it's on there because again, that holds this whole shit together. It's on there. So, um... You can go to Manhattan now. Stop and go traffic. On the brakes, off the brakes, on the brakes, off the brakes. That's why I think we kept wearing out these things. This truck was a New York City truck. No, it's not. Wish it still was. Alright, so I bet we can probably fix that. See how it's crooked, but we're not. Maybe we'll bend it. Just keep it as a spare. Get another one. Always keep one of these in stock if you have 88, 90 trucks. They're only like 13 bucks. Keep one in somewhere. That's done. Now we have to replace the uh, grease dust cap on the right hand side it's leaking but uh, this stay positive you know it sucks it's uh, I'll show you what the temperature is down here crank this thing up what are we reading 95 all right I lied but. battery is low hear that works shall you check it take a look at your third brake light right there Okay, so stay positive, and uh, when you call your old truck a piece of shit, don't call it that, fix it up. These trucks are probably better than the new Chevy trucks. Now you got brake lights again. Hope this video helps someone. Again, you really can't show much unless you take that column out, and I didn't want to do that today. So, you can do it with or without it. You just gotta, if you're a big guy, you know, recommend finding someone small with the lead, because it's, it's tough. But, you can do it. And use a good part too, AC Delco will last you, whatever, 10, 15 years. Chinese ones won't last. And if uh, you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever, watch more videos of me ranting at people and fixing stuff. I do all sorts of crap. Cool, very happy. And you hear my belt squeaking and my tension is squeaking, another project. This truck's falling apart. I think the alternator bearings are going as well. New parts are not always better.